Pretty much everyone has at some point visited an amusement park. Some rides take you several feet up in the air and can be truly terrifying but fun at the same time. We trust the amusement park workers and the rides themselves with our lives. But there have been times when amusement park rides have malfunctioned, which have led to gruesome injuries and even deaths. And some of these accidents have even been captured on video. Sanmenshia Mianshi Yangshou Square Amusement Park, China. A video was uploaded to LiveLeak.com which shows the horrifying moment when a man's safety belt suddenly breaks and as the ride turns upside down, the man can be seen plummeting towards the ground. Shocking and terrified onlookers can be heard screaming. The person who filmed the man's fall said that he died from his injuries. The accident happened just days after a 19 year old drunken teenager died at the same amusement park after he was tossed out of the pirate ship ride. Longshen Amusement Park, China On May the 1st, 2015, at the Longshen Amusement Park, which is located in China, Two visitors died after they fell from a towering amusement park ride called Scream. A eyewitness says that the staff members activated the ride before everyone had fastened their safety belts, which resulted in two visitors dead. The amusement park has been closed while authorities are looking into the cause of the accident. Boy falls to his death from Ferris wheel. In this small Siberian town of Bursk, a six-year-old boy named Sasha climbed over the park's fence and found the control button to the first wheel, which he easily switched on. After a while, he decided to change seats mid-ride. Sasha slipped, but he was able to grab onto a metal bar, which left the poor boy dangling. Locals started to notice the dangling boy, but instead of calling for help, they started to film the poor boy with their mobile phones. They yelled to Sasha to hold on tight while they were laughing and making jokes. You can later hear Sasha crying and calling out for his mother. Sasha didn't have the strength to hold on anymore and unfortunately fell to his death. The police are still looking for whoever filmed the accident and want to know why they didn't call for help. The Inflatable Maze Accident In July 2006, in Chesterly Street, Durham County, a gigantic inflatable maze called the Dream Space was set up to allow visitors to enter the inflatable maze. Later on the same day when the visitors were inside the Dream Space, strong winds made the ropes holding the gigantic inflatable maze on the ground to break. And the winds then lifted the inflatable maze into the air and flipped it over before crashing it into the ground. Elizabeth Collins and Claire Furmage unfortunately died when the inflatable maze hit the ground. The Freefall Ride Accident In South Korea, a freefall amusement park ride broke down on its way down, leaving terrified passengers stuck 80 feet up in the air. After two hours, rescue workers were finally able to reach the passengers, but without warning, the ride's emergency brakes fail which drops the passengers 80 feet towards the ground. As the emergency brakes fail, a rescue worker falls towards the ground. And another rescue worker can be seen holding on to the crane, but unfortunately he loses his grip and falls to the ground. The terrified passengers are still stuck in the ride and it takes a few more hours before they are finally saved. There isn't that much information about this video. But some sources say that the rescue worker that fell when the emergency brakes fails died of his injuries and some say that he survived. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button to support my channel and subscribe for more videos.